After the brutal Pelgam terror attack in April 2025, where 26 innocent lives were lost, on May 7th, India launched. Operation Sindhu. India's fighter jet destroyed nine terror camps in Pakistan and POK in under 30 minutes with zero collateral damage. But after the strike, Pakistan retaliated. Between May 8th and 9th, Pakistan launched over 150 aerial threats, including ballistic missiles, drones, and glide bombs. In Simultaneous waves across 15 different targeted cities, and yet not one reached its goal because India's sky was ready. At the center stood the Akash missile system, a desi interceptor backed by the Rajendra radar. Each unit tracked up to 64 threats and guided multiple missiles in real time. Flying at over Mach 2.5, that's more than 200 km/h, Akash missiles struck down incoming threats within seconds. Rain, fog, darkness, nothing could stop them. Above this, working silently in the background was Akash Thir, India's latest AI-powered air defense control system. It integrated 3D radars, low-level radars, Akash batteries, QRSMs, and S400S into the unified network. Akash Thir detected, tracked, and intercepted nearly all 150 enemy objects. Coordinating our entire air defense like a digital command brain. Even the ballistic missile threats were intercepted with the help of Akash Thir and India's Russia made S-400 units, which added long-range coverage to the inner Desi shield. All of this built on years of work by Indian scientists, especially Dr. Parlat Ram Rao, the man behind Akash. Business Today interviewed Dr. Ram Rao. He said. This is the happiest day of my life to see the missiles I help build strike enemy aerial targets with such precision and elegance the movement proved one thing this wasn't just a win it was india proving that we don't just buy defense tech anymore we build it integrate it and win with it